Although their range is very short and doesn't gain the full flat range bonus from your Lake Swinger crew, mining beams are heat and energy efficient hit scan weapons, and you can craft them very early. Overload is optional at the very beginning. Small ships often have trouble handling beams even without it till later. You can scale the number of cores to fit your space and hard points. As a general rule, don't oversize with boosters outside of the free ones. Here is a recipe for point defense Gatlings. Point lasers get full extension after crafting from these ones in crew, leaving you with a comfortably medium range for small vessels. This one's not particularly optimized, but remained inexpensive for the early game. Charge would be tempting, but you should reserve that for your main attacks. Without flux, most weapons without a long to cool down lose a nasty amount of DPS not shown from their downtime, unless you give them rating 4. But then the compound heat and energy will screw with you. Inexpensive, low heat, fairly versatile with explosion fuse options, cannons may not scale great in the end game, but can make your life much easier right out of the box. With very few exceptions, mostly composed of rebel ships, you almost always want armor piercing on there. Perks and crew bonuses make the increase even better than the sheet shows you right now. Rapid reduces ammo use for 60% damage, so one count of it is nice right now. If you don't mind paying full price, bursts hit much harder. The first weapon in the game with piercing capability, railguns fly fast, far, and multi-hit capitals in the right place. We'll just avoid accountability for a moment here. Paired with heavy munitions and a crippling cooldown, this is a weapon where you'll feel every miss every time. But while they aren't hit scan, railguns have good range and speed. Here are the ones I was using in a recent video. We don't care about the heat and energy since they're a single shot system and the energy cost is not too high to begin with. Armor piercing as always. For anti-capital work we'll add explosive as these shockwaves can add extra hits as well across the borders, though this makes them much weaker against smaller ships. As my main weapon here I'll be fueling them with flux, but their cooldown means charger 1, one or 2 would have been alright either way. A tricky, hard-hitting option, plasma torpedoes are a versatile, energy-based area effect weapon. Your entire momentum adds to their pathetic speed, allowing anything from the longest range weapon in the game to a short-lived mine, and any soft lob in between. The faster and more nimble you are, the better they'll be for you. Just don't get caught in the blast. A lace wing works quite well with these, although admittedly the dragon is the king of happy orbs below class 3 thanks to its buffed hard points. As an area of weapon, torpedoes are prone to double hitting capital ships where the hitboxes overlap, the best known spot being the pudgy muffin top of the titan. You already have a cooldown, and charge is highly attractive, but the more you add, the less wieldy the weapon gets. No snapshots with 2 seconds charge time. I like a slightly longer cooldown and charge one so that they're still mostly useful against fighters. What to do with this thing that hits us? Well, instead of point defense beams, why not just clear everything around us in one blast? Or two or three. This model was crafted as weak as possible. And maybe we can get creative, too. At low speeds, your own shockwave can send you flying back. Just make sure you don't go overboard for your defenses. We have a bigger one equipped here, but we can't fuel it yet, so only the barrier went off. Still, better a small hit to fly backwards than whatever was about to blow you up, and that cloud of drones is dead. Steadier on its verniers, our lace wing has been exploring the regions. It spotted another big spiky skull on the edges of the star system. 
flux heavy anti-capital lower should do quick work of that, and new batteries allow it to fire the full volley at maximum power. We don't need to worry about the heat either like this. Some ancient relics, while just shooting rocks, a bigger scanner sees more moving loot. That's always a relic. Yay. We are saving these for now. There's a skill for better scanners in the nebula. Don't have it yet. The warp diverter and accumulator were purpled as soon as possible, but even there, it's tough to use the IEB with four flux guns. Should have taken it off for one more shield charter. This Titan appears to be a PDL build. Damn near helpless. Scanner tiny, hard to shoot off screen, but... Up. Uh, uh, Titans have problems in the muffin top, uh, near the corners where it bulges. It causes both hitbox to swallow the space motor, especially with a bit of AoE. Feel like an idiot on every miss. Should probably have taken a tractor. 